All right, today I'm going to be flying out of uh, the Callahan area. Niner traffic, Cessna Alpha, Sierra X, Rafal, Sierra Alpha, taking off runway 17 straight on departure. So this is a private airport. It doesn't have the national designation with a K before it, so it's designated as CL49. Um, this is where they do uh, air shooting out east in Colorado. Um, way out east from Colorado Springs, but uh, my sister uh, was able to do uh, uh, parachuting lessons out here, and she actually uh, solo jumped instead of being tethered. So that was pretty cool accomplishment for her. Um, I'm just uh, kind of getting familiar with the, the airport. I don't, I've never been out there. I've never seen it. Um, you can see the, the front range way out in the distance from the graphics just then. So. Um, yeah, just check it out real quick and uh, see how flat it is. Um, you can tell it's it's meant for small aircraft, um, small jump planes. Um, just enough to load a bunch of uh, adrenaline junkies up with doors open and, and uh, be able to do their parachuting thing. So let's take a look. So this does not have any amenities of, of, of a public use airport. Um, it does have uh, guidance lights for runways, but that's about it. So this is going to be interesting. This would definitely be only something to use during the daytime. I mean, I guess these lights are here for uh, night use if you have to. Oh, there is some. There are some taxiway lighting there too. So the blue lights are for taxiway to get back to the. Looks like the hangar buildings and the and the jump school buildings over there on my left side. Let's take a look. I'm pushed in at uh, full throttle here, I'm just waiting for my uh, speed indicator to let me know I'm at 60 knots. Um, I have no training wheel for this uh, video, I'm just trying to make it somewhat as real as I can. If we hit 60 knots, we can get airborne. Rotating back, maybe I, I, uh, I didn't allow the plane to get up to speed just quite fast. We are airborne. So if I look out my right side wing, you can't see the front range there. Pike Peak is hard to miss. So I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna make a right hand turn. I'm a NASCAR fan, I, I like it. But I'm not that much of a fan, so instead of a right hand turn, or left hand turn, left hand turn, left hand turn, finish line. We're going to do right hand turn, right hand turn, right hand turn, finish line. Charlie Oscar 4 Niner traffic Cessna Alpha Sierra X Ray Golf Sierra Alpha 2 miles south 6,700 feet inbound to land runway 17. So this is uncontrolled airspace, but you still communicate your intentions just in case there's other aircraft in the area that are coming through. There is no control tower here, so you won't get any feedback yet. This is basically to let people know what airport you're at, what aircraft is flying, and where you are in the world in relationship to what other people. I believe we would still be on uh, Colorado Springs Municipal Airport frequencies because that's what everybody's going to be tuned into in this area. Yeah, good climb out. 
over at uh, 72, 7,210 feet. We're about a thousand meters or a thousand feet off the ground. So that was a good climb out. I mean, this is what the open expanse of the eastern plains of Colorado is. Uh, it's pretty boring pretty quick once you start heading a little ways east of Colorado Springs. But look at all this emergency landing space. <laughs> so I'm just going to ease back to the north end or the north uh, north north end back to a north, northern compass heading. I'm looking at the compass meet, uh, the compass heading, and I'm looking at the, with the Garmin D1000 aviation package, uh, I've still got the airport on my map on my right hand screen. But um, without all this fancy modern day technology, um, a basic compass, the compass on the dash should be enough to be able to navigate through skies in good weather. And I can um, look out the right hand side of the aircraft and I can see where we are with the airport there. Airstrip, not technically an airport. This is about as high as I want to climb, um, just for this short jaunt. Uh, this aircraft's maximum ceiling capabilities. Uh, I think it's about fourteen thousand feet, but. Uh, got to fly on a Blackhawk helicopter once from Fort Carson Airport or Fort Butts Airfield to um, we did a flyover of the Academy and then we flew back to Butts Airfield and did a, uh, a deployment um, an air assault deployment out of the, the, the uh, UH-60 Blackhawk helicopters um, so that was part of my college experience and I got to do that. Um, never was active duty to actually do the, the, the roping out of helicopters or anything from air assault school or anything like that. I wish I would have been able to go there because they would have sent me to Hawaii for that most likely. I'm going to engage Start to reduce the airspeed. Looking at the, we got a, a gentle descent, so that's what I want. Nose down, to keep airspeed up a little bit. We're still in the green there.
when I was taking flying lessons in 1994, I had no luxury of all this modern day electronic gear. So that's indicating that I'm 500 feet from above the ground. I don't want to, I gotta identify where the airport is. And this is why I'm flying this, because I'm unfamiliar with where I'm at in relationship to the roads. So this crop circle here, Probably a good landmark if I have to go around. I think I'm on track for the airport. Look at this. Yeah, I'm way out. And I'm way to the, <laughs> way to the right, so let's correct that. I'm going to take the left out. Go to full flaps. Five hundred. Power. So I'm about where I need to be in relationship to the airstrip. So. Line her up. Get her down. Charlie Oscar 49er traffic Cessna Alpha Sierra X-ray Golf Sierra Alpha is on final runway 17 to land. And you do that announcement just to make sure if there's another aircraft that's taxiing that you, you know, if they're not watching. So we're at the end of the runway, and there's really no taxiways here. But the way this airfield is, um, you can either back taxi. Well, actually, there should be a taxiway up here. So you take the runway at the end. So let, me, let me check that. I do see the taxiway up there. So like at a big airport where you have multiple taxiways to exit the runway, for the different size aircraft. This one only has two exit ways um, at the end of each very end of each combo. But the red lights here are saying this is the <laughs> this is the end of the road. I'm gonna 
into the, the hangar area, get it to get it out of everybody's way, and, and to shut it down where where I can take a break. Up. This is what I do. You know, this is how you do it in real life. You. This isn't a service place, so you make sure you'd have enough fuel to get back to where you can get the fuel. They uh, they probably have fuel here, I don't know, but it may not be like public access. Dirt road taxiway. Or, like, if I were a private aircraft owner, I wouldn't want to keep doing this because it's an unmaintained um, taxiway, and you have to consider maintenance of your aircraft for the gear and stuff. Magneto's off. I believe that's the right shutdown procedure. I need to get a foot. Need to get a uh, shutdown checklist for the for this aircraft. So that's it. Um, So I guess it's not giving me uh, the the flight log screen because I can't stay here. <laughs> but uh, this is as real as I'm going to go with this today. So I'll make it somewhat of a short video. Thanks for watching, guys.